I have never seen this and look at this big money bolo. You guys are looking at me like this woman has lost her mind. Condition, yeah, it matters, but sometimes it doesn't. Make even more money. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about big money plush. Plush to be on the lookout for. What is plush? Plush is a stuffed animal. And one thing that I like to say is put plush and stuffed animal in your title if you have room. Because I think as resellers, we use the term plush. And as people that are searching on eBay or other platforms. It could be grandparents, parents, friends, you know, anybody looking for a stuffed animal. They're probably thinking of the word stuffed animal. When you think of your childhood toy that you're trying to find that was a plush or a stuffed animal, do you think of the word plush or do you think of the word stuffed animal? I know that when I was a kid, the word plush was not even something that I had ever heard of. Not existent, non-existent. <laughs> but stuffed animal? Yeah, I wanted my stuffed animal. So use both words in the title. That would be my recommendation. In this video, we're gonna talk about some plush, some stuffed animals that people from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group have sold for a profit. This is my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. If you're not in it, definitely go join over 80,000 members. It is stuffed full of reseller information from bolos to questions that you may have the same question that somebody has already answered. So come check it out. Would love to see you there. And if you wanna share a bolo, I also have share your best monthly bolo. And this month we're doing plush but I will feature those in the featured section. And you guys just go pop up a screenshot and tell me where you got it, what you paid for it, and what it sold for. And I'll feature your bolo in a video like this. So go check it out. But this one, here's the post, share your best plush bolo. And this is probably gonna stay up for a little while. So if you have a plush bolo, go share it. So the first one here, it says, we bought this at a local thrift store for ha on half off day. It was $2.50. An offer came in for $30 and we decided to take it. Sold within a couple months. It is a Webkins Rainbow Armadillo Stuffed Plush Gans Animal. Sealed with code. Now, let's talk about Webkins. I have a whole video on Webkins. They range from bread and butter, you know, $10, $15, $20. $10, this one sold for $30 to big money. Over $100 some of them go for. There are certain things to look for. Now, if they have the code, that is definitely helpful. That is the little tag that you see in this photo and it's attached and you can tell that it has never been opened. You'll be able to tell. But with code does typically sell for more, but some of them, oh my goodness, big bucks. So definitely search all Webkins, look them up. Uh, this one comes from childhood finds and this is her youtube channel she's a bolo buddies member which means she has joined bolo buddies memberships at level two or higher to be featured in this video so i will shout out her youtube channel and her ebay store both will be linked in the description of the video so go check her out she is incredible she said i found this at a local thrift store paid a dollar fifty it sold for full asking price in a few months it is a vintage chosen yellow duck build platypus plush cut tag the tag is cut so i'm guessing that's the tush tag sold for 78.95 plus shipping a fun recent sale bought him for the, from the bins for probably about four bucks judging by how heavy he was he was bought very quickly for full price within days of listing though i don't remember exactly how long pretty good price if you ask me uh, yeah, pretty good price. Wow. It is an A&A &A jumbo realistic white Samoyed, S-A-M-O-Y-E-D. I'm guessing that's a breed. Puppy dog, stuffed plush, 28 inches with blue eyes. 
$399.99 plus shipping. How awesome is that? The next one is mine. It is just a bread and butter, but it sold quickly. Uh, I got it at the Goodwill bins and I took a best offer of $25. So what I want to point out to you is the little, uh, it's called a swaddle baby. And these come in different characters, but they come with like either a little blanket. This one has a little carry case. So that did increase the value of this. I did take a best offer of $25 plus shipping. Definitely something to be on the lookout for. Not big money, but sold quickly. This little turtle was so cute. The next item here is a rare cow toy, vintage Miles Tails Power Plush from Sega, Sonic. Anything Nintendo, Sega, Sonic, the characters, look them up. A lot of them are bolos. This one, he paid $1.11 at the Goodwill and sold it for $99.99 plus shipping. Purchased at the bins for $0.10. Cents. And buyer paid full asking price of $129.99 plus shipping. Vintage 1976 Gund Brown Monkey Plush Stuffed Nylon Animal Rare Heart Nose Large. And this is what it looks like. It's vintage rubber face plush deer reindeer Columbia toy stuffed animal. And it says Rushton. Uh, I have a couple videos on Rushton. Some of them go for thousands. Definitely check out that video. This one sold for $59.99. This poor little guy looks a little worse for wear. Look at it. Just look at it. Oh, he's so sad looking. Even the Rushton that um, are in rough condition will still go for decent money and some of them go for big money. I would recommend doing your Rushton on a um, auction. So in this situation, I probably would have started this if they were, if they wanted to get $59.99, they're buy it now, I would have started the auction at that price just on the off chance that maybe there were two people that really wanted this item, even in the condition it was in, because people will look for items and if they're hard to find, they will pay up for them. So that could have resulted in a bidding war or they could have had it priced just right. Here is another one, vintage Rushton my Toy Rubber Face Duck Plush, 40s, 60s old. Again, definitely would have ran an auction on this. Sold it for $49.99. Is that good? I have no idea. I don't know comps on this one. I just know that some Rushton sell for crazy money. Uh, got junk in our trunk. She is a moderator of this Facebook group. She sold a Rushton and it was beat up. And I think she sold it for over $100. I can't remember exactly what it sold for, but it was in rough condition and it's still sold for that much. So uh, depending on the age and how many were made and produced and how rare they are, how many are still around, condition, yeah, it matters, but sometimes it doesn't. So auction them, auction them. I paid 60 cents for this at a St. Vincent's during a vintage blanket event. I knew when I saw it, it was something special being an odd looking Olympic plush and didn't even look it up until I got home. There had only been one other sold in the past year. I had it up for 125 and took a best offer of 100 plus shipping. It took about a month and a half to sell. It is a rare vintage 1992 Albertville Winter Olympic mascot. Um, not sure how to say this. Pagik plush with tags. This is what it looks like. So different, unique, hard to find, probably passed by by many. Yeah, it was a blanket event. Hmm, it's very interesting. Would you have picked it up or walked past it? Let me know down in the comments. Paid $12 at the Goodwill for three. Had price separate, but buyer offered 300 to buy all three. So I made a special listing. The group of three is shown in the reply. It is Salesforce plush lot. Brandy the fox, Max the mule, and Ruth the elephant. This is what they look like. 300 bucks for all three. Bought this at the Goodwill for $2. Hung on to it for a while and then decided to sell. I knew I sold low. I could have gotten more, but I'm glad with what it sold for. Thanks to you and Rebel. 
Okay. Uh, thank you so much for the shout out. And also you guys be sure to go follow the Rebel reseller. That's who she's referencing. Rebel sells tons and tons of plush and, uh, you're definitely going to learn something from Rebel. So go and follow her. I will link her down below. So it is the Angry Birds green. Oh, it's so small. Something pig and Stella something. Anyway, it's these three. And it looks like it sold for a total of $26. And oh, nope, I'm sorry. It was on Poshmark. Sold for $33. And the buyer paid shipping. And with fees, the earnings was $26.40 on this. And she paid two bucks for it. So nice profit. Yes, you can sell plush on Poshmark. You can also sell plush on Mercari. And I tell you guys all the time, you're going to hear it again. Get your plush on Mercari. Some of it sells for way more than it does on eBay. Um, I, I think it's because eBay is flooded. And I just think there's a different market of people that are looking on Poshmark and Mercari. So more eyes on your items. I use lists perfectly to cross post. There's a link down below. I have a video that shows you exactly how I do it. And I start my items on eBay and cross post to the other platforms. You can also use their catalog. The demo video shows you both ways. Check that out. If it's a good fit for you, it's definitely worth it. I've been using it since 2019 and I love it. So uh, that's list perfectly. If you want to try it, referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, will get you 30% off your first month. I also have Mercari and Poshmark down there. You will get a credit to shop when you join on both of those. And on Mercari, if you sell $100 worth of stuff, they're going to give you another $20 to shop. So 30 bucks on Mercari with my referral link. And you can use that money to buy something to resell and make even more money. How about that? Uh, those links are down below with other referrals, things I use for my business. All those are linked down in the description. Bought for $1.50 at a local church flea market. Sold for full asking price of $56.99 in about three weeks. What is this guy? He's cute. Oh, he's a folk monist. I just did a video on puppets. Check that out if you want to see some crazy puppet bolos. Oh my goodness. Some of them sold for over a thousand. Yeah, and it's not the type of puppets you would expect. So if you missed that video, type in Bolo Buddies Puppets and it'll pull it up. Folk Monist, NCIS, Bert the Farting. Yes, I said farting. Hippo, Hand Puppet Plush. Do you guys feel like farting? Do you like the word stinker better? Did you fart or did you stinker? <laughs> I just like the word stinker better. Oh my goodness. Farting sounds like a man, a woman stinkers. Okay. You guys are looking at me like this woman has lost her mind. She's lost her mind. My husband farts. I stinker. <laughs> okay. I must be getting tired. I'm talking about a farting hippo right now. Okay. Well, this farting hippo sold for $56 and 99 cents and they paid $1.50 at a church flea market. Okay. So let me know in the comments. Yeah. I'm going to go there with this. Do you fart or do you stinker? Or maybe you use another word. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Keep it clean, guys. This is just for fun. All right. Bought this Webkin's Golden Retriever at the Goodwill for $3.45. Was asking for $64.99 and accepted a best offer of $45. Buyer messaged me and said her daughter was using her allowance to buy it. And I'm a sucker, so I accepted. Yes, I will tell you that I feel like when people make offers and they include something with their offer, whether it be, I can buy this on Amazon for this price, or somebody else has it listed for this price, my response to them is, you should definitely buy it from them. That's my response. When somebody comes at me defensive, I'm just like, buy it from them. Like, it's fine. Just buy it from them. Now, if they do it in a manner that is polite and kind and not just kind of snotty and mean, I'll definitely take it into consideration. But typically, you just have to make me an offer, and most of the time, I accept it. But uh, 
This one, I get it. Somebody that would say, I used to have this as a child. I have a limited income or I only get paid once every two weeks and this is all I can afford. Yes, I'm gonna be more likely to accept that offer. Um, I feel like, I feel like I can tell when people are being honest. Sometimes I'm like, this person is not being honest. And you can go in and you can look at the things they sell and the prices they're selling things for, and you're gonna know. It's a reseller, it's a reseller. They're trying to buy your item to resell, or because they're a reseller, they're just cheap and they want it for a good deal. I mean, come on, all of you here watching, most of you, if there's a best offer button, you're pushing the best offer. Why? Because we don't pay full retail for anything because we source cheap and we resell. So we always want to get a good deal. And pushing that best offer button makes you feel like you're getting a deal. Am I right? I mean, come on. But anyway, yeah, I'm kind of a sucker also. If somebody told me this, that it was her allowance and she wanted it, I, I would probably, I would probably go for that. Now, could it be somebody fibbing? It could be a reseller with a really good, really good lie. <laughs> really good lie. I don't know. Check their store. But it's a Webkin signature. If it has the signature on it, those can go for more. So keep that in mind. Paid $1.11. Sold within two weeks. It is a Porter Robinson Patero 8-inch plush blue penguin DJ. I have never seen this, and look at this big money bolo, $229.95 it sold for. Can you say wow? Like, what is that? Is that from a cartoon? Is that from a movie? Porter Robinson. Anybody know? Let me know down in the comments. Bought for $3.99 at the Goodwill. It is Tutter Mouse Bear in the Big Blue House, 7-inch plush cat Disney Store Henson. Sold for $100. Yes. Bear in the big blue house. Definitely be on the lookout. Bolo, bolo, bolo. $3.99 at the Goodwill. It's a vintage 1998 gunned liquid berry Jerry Garcia plush. Uh, it's a plush doll from the Grateful Dead. It has his guitar and he sold for $100 plus shipping. All right, you guys. What did you think about those plush? I had some questions for you. Let me know down in the comments. I look forward to hearing whether you stinker. Oh, or you could toot. Who toots? <laughs> do you stinker fart like the hippo, the farting hippo? Or do you toot? What's another word for, for that? <laughs> oh my goodness. We are just, what, did, what is happening in this video? All right, you guys. Um, please don't unsubscribe. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. I'd love for you to subscribe if you're new here. Let me know how you found the channel. And uh, there's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a video down below, a subscribe button. As always, thank you so much for being here. Check out another video and thanks for watching. Vintage rubber flake. <laughs> Let's try that again.